Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, I got special guest, Sky Kim, from Road to Pro Tennis, here with me today. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so Sky Kim in the house, former ATP Pro, head of RTP Tennis, Road to Pro. Sky, welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having me, Harry. Oh, thank you for coming. Thank you for making all the trip down from SoCal here. Yeah, uh, driving, was, driving wasn't so bad. My, my family was with me, so it's, it's oh, not nice. too bad. Yeah. Nice. All right, so Sky came to the United States at age seven from Seoul, Korea to pursue a tennis career. Now, how does a seven-year-old come to pursue a tennis career? My parents had me um, start in tennis when I was six, and then they decided, they saw Nick Politeri Tennis Academy on TV and they're like, okay, we're going there. <laughs> so that's how we, yeah, we packed everything and just came to the States. Wow, you saw Nick on TV. You saw him develop Courier, Sampras, Agassi. Um, Michael Chang. Michael and, Chang, yeah. Yeah, Michael Chang and uh, Agassi. My idol was Agassi. So, oh. Yeah. Did you want the long hair? And... <laughs> you play with a head racket. <laughs> <laughs> I do, I do. The way he played his game, like I, you know, that's, how I wanted to play, aggressive baseliner. So, okay, so at age seven, do you go straight into Volatari? Yes, we did. So uh, we went to Volatari for about a month um, because I didn't have a lot of private lessons there. We went to actually Orlando after that. So I had um, a private coach in Orlando for five, about five years. Yeah. Oh, wow. And then you went into... And then I went, I came back to Sarasota Bradenton and then I got a scholarship into IMG. Wow, that's, so how old were you then? That's impressive, 12 years old? So 13, 13, 14. Okay, yeah. so at 14, you had your first injury though. Mm -hmm. Like what, what happened there? So I had something called OCD. It's called uh, osteochondritis desiccans. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not actually from tennis, but it's like an injury that I had before when I was younger. Um, like I might have fell and the bone didn't heal completely. Okay. Yeah, so like the bone was dying. So uh, No they, way. Yeah, they had to drill holes on the bone and let it heal, have a baby bone come out. And it took about a year to heal. I had a second surgery when I was 18. So, you know, but it same never knee. healed. Same knee. Same, same knee, wow. same condition, but it didn't really heal. So I had to get two knee surgery. And then um, eventually I stopped playing because of it, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Go back to yeah. happier days, okay, <laughs> happier days. Yeah. yeah. Between age 16 and 18, you finished in the top five mm -hmm. in the boys' United States. 14s also. 14s. 14s, okay. Yeah, so I finished top five in the 14s. Uh, 16s, I had the knee surgery, so I was out for two years actually with okay. the tournaments. And then in the 18s, uh, I got to top three again. Top five. How hard was that? Yeah, my ranking dropped to 250. Yeah. Um, I was climbing, you know, back up to the top. It, was, it wasn't easy. You have to work three to four times as hard as the other kids because you have to catch up. You have to make up for that time. Yeah. So you're playing a ton of tournaments? Ton of tournaments, ton of training. Um, but at the same time, I didn't want my knee to come back, that knee injury to come back. So I had to take it easy. But it was hard. It was really hard coming back. Yeah. So did you, did you go to college or did you bypass college? No, I didn't go to college. I went pro. At age 18? At age 18. Wow. It, I took a while to break through, but eventually at 20, I got my first points. It's a tough road. It is. Yeah. So let's talk about getting into, getting into your first points here. Um, did you have sponsors, financial sponsors? How did that work? I didn't. So my parents actually had to pay for everything. So when we're traveling, we're trying to uh, find ways to save some money. Mm. So, you know, yes. it's always a struggle. It's always a struggle. I mean, it's, I mean, you want your coach to be there, your trainer, you know, everybody, 
but sometimes you have to go alone or with you know just my dad um, but it is tough it's tough financially it's always tough yeah it's a it's an expensive road guys it's a it's not easy and it's a lonely road at at a lot of the uh the intersections yeah yeah <laughs> so when you learn but you learned and you mature um just through the process though mm -hmm. i'm sure mm -hmm. so but you got your points you got up to 481 yes in the world yes how did that feel that felt great after i mean it only took about six to seven months to get to that 480 from zero so it felt really good having the uh finally getting that first point after three four years of trying in the futures um and then once that once i broke through once i had that first point i was like yes finally so i had you know i was more relaxed on the court uh, i wasn't so stressed about it so it took me 13 tries to get one point 13 tries and then finally i broke through and then got up to 400 about 480 um, in about six months span yeah. wow that's a lot of uh, tournaments sets wins oh man i <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but eventually uh, my my shoulder acted up, so I had to stop again. So a lot of injuries. You have to battle a lot of injuries as a player. It's not. It's inevitable. It's uh, it's all. It's always going to be there. People always ask me, "How do you uh, not get hurt?" But it's not really about not getting hurt. You want to prevent injuries and uh, do rehab before it happens. So the injuries that you you have. You recover from it faster. Got so it. something like you could be out for like a you know if you're injured for six months, um, if you actually prepare for it and do all the right things, you could come back in two months. So you you're actually coming back earlier when you have when you're ready. But when you're not when your body's not ready and you're not prepared, then you have to rest longer. So you can't really prevent injuries completely, but you have to be ready so you could come back faster and recover faster. So a lot of it is actually just managing. Um, injuries and basically doing what you can to play with pain players do play with pain a lot um, but sometimes uh, I mean we made our equipment so that you don't have to go uh, uh, through with that like you don't have to play with that pain like the nagging pains mm -hmm. not those uh, big injuries where you like twist your ankle or you tear something, right? But those nagging uh, injuries where like it's painful, but it's not something that you know you have to have surgery for. Yeah. So let's talk about Road to Pro. You um, started a company called Road to Pro, and you came up with a lot of like let's say anti-injury mm -hmm. items. Now talk talk about the items and what you kind of foresaw with these items. We have injury prevention um, dampeners. Um, we have heel pads for joints. We have uh, socks, non-slip socks, so you don't have blisters or you don't hit your toenails on the shoes and get toenail bruising. So we, these are injuries that can happen while you're playing, but if you can't really call it injuries. Like, uh, like my shoulder pain. I had it since I was 13. But um, eventually I had to rest when I was 20, um, but like, I felt like it could have been prevented. Um, I felt like uh, a lot of the other pain, even the knee problem, I thought it could be prevented with, uh, with the heel pads or you know, the insoles. We finally found the thickness and softness that we uh, were able to uh, alleviate a lot of my pain in my knee. And that, it, it was actually amazing because I tried so many different types of insoles, like custom insoles, but they never worked. Um, but our insoles, after just one day of using it, finding the right softness and thickness, it you know it, my pain went from like a nine to six on the first day. Um, so it, yeah, and then um, with our dampeners, I know there's a bias towards dampeners. Like it's not supposed to help you uh, with any of your arm pains, and I grew up with that uh, with that bias. So like I I was you know I was one of the people that said, yeah, dampeners don't help you with your arm. I was looking for a dampener because when I was hitting and when I test new rackets or strings, it would always come back. My shoulder problem always comes back 
when I only hit, hit with new rackets or new strings. Yeah, I mean, it's not my technique. I've been playing the same way for right. probably like 20 years. So right, right, like right. It, ha it can't be my technique. So it had to be some, you know, maybe vibration fre frequency of the strings or the racket. So I wanted to find the, the best dampener in the world or a material so I could try it on my racket. And I typed it in on Google and nothing. Every, everything was silicon, silicone or rubber. So I was, you know, I just bought different um, shock absorbing material and just stuck it on my racket, tried a couple, but we stuck with, um, when I was trying Sorbo thing, I was like amazed. I was amazed because the feel was so bad. I couldn't feel the ball <laughs> when I first used it. Yeah, we have to find ways so that the uh, you could actually feel the ball, but it still absorbs the vibrations in the shock. So it took, I mean, we did like uh, 200 different combinations of the design and the softness and you know the pl different plastics. I didn't even know there were so many different pra plastic types. And finally, we found something that uh, alleviates pain, arm pain, and felt great on the heads. As you guys may know, uh, most dampeners are just a piece of rubber that they just cut up and put like a happy face or heart or whatnot on it, and then you just put it on your strings. And most of what that does is just, it's like a sound dampener. Does it really protect your arm? I don't think so. So what Sky is talking about is like a rubber plastic source that would we can we use eliminate? It eliminates the harmful shocks okay. and the vibrations. Um, and the engineers at Sorbothane agreed that um, the the frequent the sound equals vibration. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when Players and coaches say, you know, it only changes the sound, but it's, that's basically vibration. So sound is vibration. Sound is vibration. Okay. So the way uh, Sorbaldane and our plastic um, works is that it eliminates the, the harmful shocks, but keeps a good feeling, the pop that, you know, you really like as a tennis player. When you're hitting the ball hard or when you're hitting the ball soft, you still want to feel the ball. Well, thank you for creating those those things. So it's so you're all about anti shock, right? Shock with the feet, shock with the dampener, mm -hmm. um, anti slip with the socks. Yeah. Now let's talk about your name. Why Road to Pro? Road to Pro. The name yes. Road to Pro. Okay. So I was coaching on tour, and when I was playing on tour myself, a lot of players, even myself, had financial problems. So. It was super hard to uh, travel, you know, financially, it was just really hard for my parents. So when I was coaching the top players, they were still struggling with that. So I came back to the States after traveling with all these players. I was like, you have, I mean, you, you know, you need money, you need money to travel. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter how good of a coach I was. Right. Um, we just need money to travel and, you know, to, to battle, to go out to battle. So. I wanted to help these players um, go on tour and help them financially, and that's why it was called Road to Pro. Help these players Got go it. go to pro. So. Got it. So you started your coaching career in 2006, and you saw that all these kids who pretty much was heading out to being a pro, you know, kind of get stopped because of the financial uh, hardships. Yeah. And what oh yeah. Did. I mean, we sponsor players and we uh, not a lot of play like not a lot of companies um, help players financially they mm -hmm. help players like with gear and everything right but our we started sponsoring players financially about two years ago uh, with, with we started with juniors first so we wanted um, players that wanted to go pro uh, we picked out from about 20 kids uh, that wanted to go pro and right now he's he's actually doing great and we actually uh, have another player we started another sponsoring another player this year so yeah you want to tell us their names uh ho young uh this, they're <laughs> korean <laughs> so That's okay you know, for now uh like yeah uh ro ho young and uh chang Woo jong so, okay yeah there's two korean players right now but um we want to 
expand that to U.S. players here. So, got it. Yeah. Well, thank you for doing that. How um, how do you get the funding for that? So all the products that we sell, a percentage goes into the funds. Got so it. That's how that's how we fund our players. Um, that's uh, basically why we made Road to Pro. Uh, so we wanted to help the players. Uh, prevent these nagging injuries that always stop them, you know, after four or five weeks, they have to stop and then play again. And then another thing is, you know, financially, they're having a tough time. So uh, those, th those two things, I think, are the worst enemies for players. That's why, that's why we made the company. Well, there you go. Hey, injuries, number one, financially, number two. So if you want to help my man Sky, you can help yourself too, right? Get a dampener, get a heel cup, get some socks, right? You'll be supporting yourself with injuries, preventing injuries, and you'll be supporting a great cause and by sending somebody on their road to being a pro. Yep. <laughs> that was the whole goal. Yep. Wow. I just picked that up just like that. <laughs> um, anything else you wanted to let people know? We have a, another apparel brand. Okay. Yeah, so that also, same thing. Uh, it's under Road to Pro, but it's a different name. It's called 1015. It spells out tennis, T-E-N, and then the 1-5 is it's I-S. We turned that into I-S. Um, and I wanted some, uh, I wanted to create a, a street where, where players can wear off the court rather than on the court. Kind of like Jordan's. Got you don't it. really, you know, play in Jordans when you're actually playing basketball. But when you get off the court, you have Jordans. But I wanted to create something off the court for for tennis. Oh, so casual wear. Yeah, street casual. wear. Yep. Yep. I've worn some of them um, in the last month or two because Sky hooked me up. Stuff is actually really comfortable. Um, it, it's really soft material. The hats were really cool. Um, you probably saw me wearing it. I didn't say anything because I wanted you guys just to say, hey, what's he wearing? <laughs> yeah, so I wanted to have like the kids to have snapbacks uh, and all these cool um, apparel that other sports has, uh, but that tennis doesn't have. So when I was growing up, I, you know, I was jealous of other, other sports because they had that. Totally, totally. Now, you have a... Um, YouTube channel yourself, mm -hmm. but I've noticed that it's all in Korean or most of it's in Korean. Mm -hmm. I thought you were in Korea. Um, why did you do that? Korea is a very small country and uh, we don't have a lot of access to great coaching. So I wanted to help the Korean audience, the Korean tennis players, uh, go like these pros that are up and coming and my coaching friends, like coaches that are younger than me, mm -hmm. that's up and coming. I wanted to help them out a little bit, uh, share my knowledge and experience. Um, but the, the actual players like picked it up and started watching my YouTube. Oh. Yeah, so, yeah, so, um, but they started talking about the video and how it's very different from traditional methods. And, um, but yeah, I just wanted to help. I just wanted to help the players uh, in Korea and the coaches. Yeah. Cool. Now, w when I tried to change it over to English subtitles, I wasn't able to. Mm -hmm. Is... Oh yeah, we're working on that. Now. Okay. <laughs> we're working on that now. Okay. So uh, I've been getting more requests to do that in English. So we're gonna put subtitles on the older videos. Okay. And then new videos, I'm gonna be doing them in English. Got it. Yeah. Got it. Now you coach also right now. Yes. Where do you coach? I coach in um, Los Angeles, uh, West Hollywood area. Okay. Yeah. So my man Sky is not in Korea. He's in SoCal, Southern California, West Hollywood. Yeah. How can people get a hold of you? Email us, support at rtptennis.com, or they could get a hold of me on Instagram. It's uh, skym0903. Just shoot me a, a DM or message. Perfect. We're going to put the links below too. If you want to, if you're in SoCal or if you want to get a hold of my man Sky here, uh, you could just click on the links below. Yeah. We'll and if you it. have uh, questions about the dampener, because people have questions all the time about the dampener and the heel pads, mm -hmm. because they have that bias, like, oh, like, you know, it's not supposed to help your. Yeah, like this one right here. Yeah. Like, <laughs> but the thing is, 
people who've used it with the arm pain, you know, like we get thank you letters all the time because yeah. they love the sport, but they couldn't play. But after they find out the uh, heel pads and the dampeners, they could play again finally. So yeah, we get a lot of thank you letters and yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Nice success. Yeah. Jeez. All right, Sky. Thank you for joining me today. Thanks I appreciate you, and I appreciate your uh, your story here. It's unfortunate you're you know you didn't make it up to top ten in the world here. <laughs> <laughs> the injury stopped me, but you know if we can help other players prevent those injuries and make it, uh, you know, have less downtime, you know, I would have I would be happy with that. Right. Yeah. So. Injury stop my man Sky, but don't let it stop you, okay? Get on your road to pro. Guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. What the hell? Harry! Harry! What? Is that you? Yeah! What's going on? What are you doing here? I got stuck. Ah! Uh, you're too squishy! Uh, Come on, little dude. I'm working at it. Come on. Oh, man!